Stand here, I am reminded of the American founding fathers who brought us self-government hundreds of years ago. We were then ruled by Great Britain. Now, the truth is, Great Britain was a kind master. It was not an awful master to us. But it was still a master, and we wanted no master, we wanted freedom. The SBDC is not a kind master. It burns down churches. It rapes women. It forces Chin people to labor against their will. It steals property. It forbids people to say what is in their heart. Much of this violates not only moral law, but international law as well. If the SBDC is such a bad master, the Qin people have even greater right to resist than did the Americans in the revolution. All right-thinking people believe in the right of Qin people to govern themselves. But the Qin people still have to decide how they want to govern themselves and how to get from here to there. Now, we know for a people to get freedom, it takes courage and hope and faith. Someday, someone will write a history of how the Qin people came to govern themselves. And I believe they will remember this day and perhaps give it a whole chapter because there are so many important decisions facing the Qin people right at this moment. Now, all who believe in freedom believe in the Qin struggle to govern themselves. I'm the only one that's here physically, but there are many others that are here in spirit. There are many, many, but I would particularly like to mention my wife and my children, who very much wanted to be here. <laughs>